Good morning, everyone. It is October 28th, and I'm going to cover some news surrounding Russia and Ukraine because, man, we got some interesting headlines that are coming out. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about my thoughts on each of these. So a while back, a few videos ago, I don't know, a couple days ago, I made a video about Russia's pivot in their their rhetoric as to why they're fighting in Ukraine now. And it was to fight Satanism, to get rid of these covens and talked about all the satanic rituals that Ukraine was doing. At the end of that video, I jokingly kind of said, what would be the next thing that they, they scapegoated? What would be the next thing they blamed for why Ukraine is doing so well? or what they're fighting, and I jokingly briefly said aliens at the end of it. Well, I was wrong, because we now see what the next scapegoat is, or at least one that's simultaneously happening, and that is battlefield mosquitoes. Combat mosquitoes, yep. So Vasily Nebenzaya, the representative for Russia, who's a permanent member on the UN Security Council, in a UN Security Council meeting with a straight face, told the other members that Ukraine is spreading dangerous viruses using mosquitoes as a weapon. He claimed that Russian troops that were stationed in Kherson Oblast discovered three drones equipped with 30 liter containers that can be used to spray biologically active substances. He also went on to say the United States had patented a drone capable of spreading mosquitoes infected with dangerous viruses and had apparently passed it on to the Ukrainians. Now, he also, in, in um, these are quotes, the dead serious, according, he said, according to the description, such drone transports a container with a large number of mosquitoes, which are carrying an infection to a targeted area and then releases them. Again, with a straight face, he told the members of the Security Council, of which have representatives from some of the most powerful militaries in the history of the world, the diseases can be more valuable than mil a more valuable military tool than most modern weapons and military equipment. It is a more valuable tool than most modern weapons, is what he said to the Security Council with all seriousness. He said such an infection among enemy servicemen would have a significant military effect. So he also went on to state that the Russian Federation had received documents regarding the spread of dangerous infections through migration birds. I talked about this a long time ago. They were using this nonsensical bird migration disease narrative. Um, he said that they're spreading highly pathogenic influenza, Newcastle disease. They're using bats as well, uh, capable of infecting humans with the plague, as if, like, as if antibiotics don't exist in this day and age. Maybe they don't in Russia. Maybe they don't. I don't know. This bird, like I said, this bird's nonsense was spread months ago. Um, Andrei, Andrei uh, and I think I'm saying that wrong, Andrei Yermak, uh, who is the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, reacted to the nonsense by and voiced out, uh, reacted by the t to the nonsense by saying, quote, combat mosquitoes, dirty bombs, really? Like, that's what he said. It's already too late to treat patients there, they should put the ice, put them in an isolated cha isolation chamber called Russia. So, so basically, hitting back at such nonsense by the Ukrainian government, the UK ambassador Barbara Woodward released a statement asking, "How much more of Russia's nonsense do we have to endure?" So, from a personal s standpoint, I have some questions. So, never mind the juice definitely not being worth the squeeze on an effort to create combat mosquitoes. Because when you know where troops are on the battlefield where you would disperse these mosquitoes, you can use regular munitions with far greater effect. Also, never mind that you can disperse pathogens with biological weapons without mosquitoes. And before you say, well, bioweapons can be tracked and mosquitoes can't, well, we can track mosquitoes and we do it all the time with malaria, dengue, Zika, West Nile, yellow fever. We can track where mosquitoes come from and where these originate. Also, never mind that mosquitoes die in winter, and never mind that you really don't want the weapon you developed to be mitigated by hungry birds and lizards and spiders. But the biggest point of this whole thing is we can't control who mosquitoes bite, you morons. So that means when Ukraine releases these mosquitoes, these combat battlefield mosquitoes, everyone is in danger. Ukrainians, Russians, Poles, Americans, whoever's there is getting bit and apparently getting sick. 
Now, sticking with the opposite is true theory that I have about Russia, I'm led to believe that Russia probably tried to develop these disease mosquitoes because, you know, they don't really care about their own soldiers. And so long as Ukrainians die, it's okay if Russians die too. And I just have, want to say to the detractors and like the dude who uses the Island Boys video or um, photo as his profile picture, the whatever, he, explain this. Come to me in the comments with a straight face and say, I support Russia and their comment that Ukraine is using combat mosquitoes. Because I really just want to see how far down the rabbit hole you will go when it comes to just taking it balls deep from Russia. How far you'll go, how much of this nonsense you will regurgitate in my comments. So come on there and tell me, yes, they are using combat mosquitoes because I just would love to see that. Anyways, moving on, a Russian commentator, Yevgeny Satnovsky, claims that Poland is getting ready to strike Ukraine. It's not. Belarus, it's not. And Kaliningrad, it's not. Are they going to do it with battlefield mosquitoes? Also, just the irony of his name being Satanovsky, and correct me if I'm wrong, those of you that are from the region, but doesn't that mean from or descended from Satan? I mean, if so, the satire on this just writes itself. In kind of more serious, upbeat news, the US, U.S. is providing Ukraine with more munitions, $275 million worth of military aid, which contains high Mars ammunition, 125 Humvees, 500 Excalibur shells, which are the longer range artillery shells, 1,300 anti-tank guided missiles, 2,000 remote anti-armor mines, as well as small arms uh, munition, and two, uh, including 2 million rounds. Uh, Ru Russian propagandist Svetlana Babieva, who was the head of the Simferpol branch of the um, of the Russian propaganda arm, died in occupied Crimea. Uh, she died from a stray bullet as a result of an accident on the training grounds in Crimea, where she was engaged in military sports shooting. So. Just, man, there's just weird ways these people die, these Russian officials die. And I know a lot of people can try to say, oh, is this and that accident, and the Russians try to paint it as that. But, man, I've never seen, not in the U.S., not even really in China, just the, the rampant disappearance of military officials through accidental falling out of windows, through accidental poisonings, through accidental shootings, etc. It's just, I mean, it's really, where there's smoke, there's fire, clearly. Uh, Poland's Prime Minister has just announced that Poland will choose the U.S. as a partner for its nuclear program. Poland will build six nuclear reactors. Westinghouse will provide the technology. Yet again, Russia is just doing the U.S. a favor by conducting by driving Europe more into the arms of the United States. I've said this in many videos before. The U.S. is strengthening its security ties and reaping a financial windfall from Russia's idiot war in Ukraine. Speaking of idiocy, the U entire 11th Russian Corps in Kaliningrad, who was from Kaliningrad, has been destroyed. That's 12,000 troops, meaning that Kaliningrad is completely defenseless. If Russia's fear was NATO, if that was really the line, and we know it's not because now it's Satan and mosquitoes, if it was about NATO, Russia's doing a fucking horrible job of securing itself. First, they lose Finland and Sweden to NATO, and now they're leaving Kaliningrad completely defenseless. And you notice no one's invading Kaliningrad. So, honest to God, it has nothing to do with NATO. So, yeah, mosquitoes and leaving Kaliningrad defenseless and random people, Russian officials dying. That's, that's the way things are going for Russia right now. So good on you, Putin. You really are a master strategist.